Today we break down a pen 6500 SS. <clears throat> Let's get started. First, go ahead and remove the handle. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and break this down. The handle has a set screw. It's called a pivot screw right there. Let's go ahead and remove that. Next, we'll do the spool that just spins off, the drag knob does. And to remove the, the drag washers, you simply remove that retaining spring there. We'll do the the click tongue, the click tongue, the click tongue assembly. I'll hold on the spring so it doesn't go flying anywhere, and the spring just pops right off this post. The click tongue excludes a spring. Let's see if we can get that out for you. Spring, the click tongue itself, a screw, and this spacer right there. And that's that for the spool. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the rotor. To, the rotor to do that, we will open this up remove this spool shaft then we can remove the nut that's there to get the rotor off this just pops right up Just a fiber spacer that's used for the handle. Remove the bear open bearing cover here by simply unscrewing it. Pull this bearing off. Now we can open up or loosen the crosswind block to remove the spool shaft so we can get the rotor off. Go ahead and remove the thrust washer from the top by gently prying it up. Next, we'll remove this nut to get the rotor off. Let's go ahead and break down the bale assembly. Simply twist this side off, unscrew or loosen these screws up. spring out spring sets in a hole right there
And this is the line roller assembly. It's a line roller, a bushing. Like that. Sits inside the line roller. You have the line roller washer. It sits on the inside of the veil arm. There's a lock nut or a lock washer that sits on the screw that supports the line roller. And that's that for the line roller assembly. Let's go ahead and get this trip bumper off while we're over here. the main bearing out sorry the main gear out as you can see these are all cleaned already we we'll go ahead and get these re-greased when we put them together I like to use a screwdriver to just kind of gently twist and pry this up which is the cross wind gear next I'll loosen the screws for the or remove the screws for the eccentric levers so we can pull that off so we're going to work on the top transfer lever, the click dog, and the silent dog. Pull the eccentric nut, remove the spring, set those aside. Push up on the silent dog uh, eccentric. And remove these two bushings from where the eccentrics came from. Now I can go ahead and get the bearing cover off by removing these screws. Pull the pinion gear with the bearing and the, the sleeve out. And what's left is the bearing came from that side of the housing. All that's left is Remove the bearing cover from this side, and we are essentially done breaking down a pen 6500 SS. All right, we're going to come back and show you how to put it all together, and what areas I grease and or oil. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and reassemble this reel. Again, this is a pen 6500 SS, and for this, I think I'll start with the. Uh, the other portion right here to get the uh, pinion, the bearing, and all the components at the top assembled, and then we'll work on everything else afterwards. Get the uh, pinion greased up. I'll grease the inside here where the bearing sits. So it's easier to pull it out when you go to service it again next. That'll sit down in there like that. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little grease to the inside of this channel right here. Drop that in place. 
you get the bearing set that on top and slip it inside the the channel there next I'll go ahead and get the the bearing cover on Go ahead and get these, this spacer or this bushing in to put in the eccentric for the click dog. And if you'll notice, these bushings have what can I put these on for you? They're two different sizes. The larger diameter goes on the click eccentric and the smaller one goes for the silent or the regular dog hope you can see that pop this in place add a little grease to the tip before inserting it into the eccentric, like so. And we're going to work this spring into this groove right there. Once that's in place, we'll go ahead and get the knob on which is this broad one screw it in place then we'll go to the other eccentric and for this one, I add a little grease to it. A very light coat, not nothing major. Get our spring. Where our spring go? There it is. Add a little grease to the end of it. Into the slot. And drop it into place. And again, we try to work it into that groove there before setting it down. And for this one, I wait until I put the eccentric, eccentric all the way through before putting this bushing in. For me, it's just easier that way. Go ahead and get the knob on, screw it in place, next I'll go ahead and grease these springs up. I'll grease the this channel here where I'm going to put the bearing and I'll put that bearing in now I'm sorry not now but in a little bit when I'm done with the finish with the top portion of this but it has to go in before I put the cross wind gear in all right let's work with the the click dog to do this I set the spring on the base with it straddling the post stick one end into the hole or the end with the prong side sticking up screw it down part way and then I'll move the end of the spring over 
so that it loads. the ratchet and I'll add a little bit of grease to the ratchet. <clears throat> Not on the teeth, but on the outside. And this will help the dog glide over it. I turn this eccentric to open before setting the dog on. Acts like a little resting spot for it. Before I do that, let me get the spacer on there. very small amount. And I'll add some more oil to the hole there. I rest it on the eccentric so it's easier to work with. I'm not going to add the oil yet. What I'm going to do is put the screw in part way and then add the oil so it can work itself in there. good while we're here let's go ahead and put the trip bumper on don't screw it down too tight because you can crack the bumper all right so we get the bearing get that set in place before putting the cross wing gear in let's get the cross wing gear and get that greased up Then just set it in place. Next, we'll go ahead and grease up the cross wind block. Then I'll add some grease on the inside here where the block will sit on the cross wind gear. Like so. We'll go ahead and get the main gear greased up as well and set it to the side. We're not going to put it in yet. And I personally like greasing all surfaces for the main gear. Set that to the side and then we go ahead and work on the rotor. We can get that ready to set on top of this so we can close everything up. So for the rotor what I do is I add a little bit of grease here. I 
this. And get that screwed in place. Next I'll work on the line roller and for the line roller I use grease and that's because the uh, salt water has a tendency to wash out the oil pretty quickly. Put the bushing on, grease that as well, on with the line roller. Then I'll take the bail arm, add a little grease inside here where the lock washer sits. Place the lock washer in, screw goes through it, stick the line roller uh, sleeve or bearing, excuse me, not bearing. Collar on. And stick it on to the, the line roller. Next, I can go ahead and add this the spring. Again, I add a dab of oil before sticking it in there. Sets in that hole. There's another hole right there on the bail arm where this sits. I'll brush a little grease on this as well. Put that in. And I just take it and I kind of work it where I can pinch it down like that. Like that and screw it in. We're gonna get this spring greased up. Open it slightly so I can get the bottom side of the spring. Then I'll tighten this line roller slightly down some more. And we're going to get the bail spring cover on there. Line roller rolls, which is always good. <laughs> and if you find it's not rolling, you tighten this down too much you can go ahead and back it out slightly so that it can roll freely okay now let's get this main bear this main gear in just sits in place like that Get the back side of it greased up. And we're going to go ahead and get the rotor on top. Get this washer that is keyed. I'll open this uh, eccentric up so it can the rotor can go back and forth, 
backwards and forwards. Set that in place like that. Lock down the nut. And then we can get the side house cover, housing cover on. Grease the inside where the bearing sits. We'll get the shaft in before we go ahead and close it up. Put the thrust washer on there. Just simply press this down with a little bit of working it in there. I add grease to here and oil to the shaft. Found that if I add oil to the shaft, what happens is uh, you get a lot of gunk and sand and dirt stuck to it if it's oil oh, excuse me if it's grease versus oil i'll add a little bit of oil to this shaft or to this inside of the pinion as well set that in place lift the cover of the cross wind block up push the shaft in until we see that slot right there push until it meets the block and the block will just sit right on it now we can add the, the cover or the housing cover Take a dab of grease, add to each hole where the screws go. Get the cover on, pop the screws in. And now we can jump to the handle, put that back together, then we'll have the spool left in it. For the handle, I'll take a little bit of grease inside of here, inside this channel right here. I'll add a dab of grease to this hole where the screw goes into, so they can transfer the grease over to the other side to make the screw easier to remove for servicing. What happens with this screw is that so much salt water hits this that it tends to seize up inside here. But if you add some grease to it, it'll transfer over into the screws or into the threading and make that easier. See how it came out the other side? So now the threading inside has grease on it as well. I'll add a few drops of oil to the sleeve. Kind of work that in there. And then some oil to the handle portion as well. And just kind of work that in. Now we can jump to the, the spool. And we'll start with the pink tone assembly. Just 
sets in place like this. This sleeve, that spacer. Drop the click tongue on it. Connect the spring and stick the screw in after we set this down on place on the on the spool. I don't try to find the hole yet. I'll use a screw to do that. So I'll take my hand and kind of move, if you can see that hole there, move the screw right over it, then screw it down in place. Now I don't screw this down all the way yet. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil just under the screw so that it can work inside and help the clicker function or move freely. Take the other end of the screw, the small pick tool or a very small screwdriver it over the spring push down with one finger as you drag the end of the spring over the post then I work that oil in that I just put in there and we're done with the click tongue assembly a few more steps and we're done This washer goes first, then the Teflon washer, keyed washer, and for the drags, for the fiber drags, I add a little bit of drag grease to them. Set that down. Next goes this octagonal washer, metal washer. The last fiber washer. Then the final keyed washer. To set this. This retaining spring in place. Simply find the groove. Hold on. Find the groove inside with one end, hold it down, push in with the other end, pop it in place. Make sure you push down where you feel the spring or the retaining clip fall into the groove. Okay. Now we can go ahead and get this open bearing cover on. On with the spool, drag knob, and the handle. And that's how you put together. Pen 6500 SS.